For the past week, I've been struggling of what intro to do to this film. I mean, it's a film based on cheesy Japanese film that are notoriously cheesy. And yet I can't think of a funny skit what to be in this film with. Oh well, let's just crack on with this week's film. I'm Berry Man, so come with me and let's talk about 10 things wrong with Godzilla. Godzilla is a 1998 American monster film directed and co-written by Ronald Emmerich. It tells the story of a giant lizard nicknamed Godzilla who travels to New York City to nest its young. And along the way, Matthew Broderick and some French Foreign Legion guys try and stop him. When the film was released, it did actually make a profit. However, it was considered a massive disappointment, having very low reviews. So what was wrong with this film? Well, let's talk about 10 things wrong with Godzilla. Number 10, film critic jabs. So when it comes to being a film critic, there are thousands of us. Look on YouTube, there are thousands of us, myself included. But one of the biggest names in the whole world is Roger Ebert. No matter what, whether you love him or hate him, he is a name that is respected and his say-so carries weight. So you don't take shots at him. Now the reason why this actually happens in this film is Roger Ebert didn't really like uh, Emmerich's previous two films, Stargate and Independence Day. So to get his own back, he created this character of the mayor of New York being Mayor Ebert, who was a bumbling idiot who loved to shove his face with candy and shouting all the military officers. So you're gonna hack off Roger Ebert and you think any other film critic's gonna be nice about your film? Not going to work in that day and age, probably would be a little bit better today, but not as much. Number 9. Copying Independence Day So Ronald Emmerich's previous two films were hits. You had Stargate and then you had the absolutely amazing Independence Day. So Godzilla was to follow that up. So how does he do it? Well, he copies Independence Day. No, seriously, he does. When you watch this film and Independence Day, it has the same style film. Basically, something unknown comes and has an attack. Then the good guys have a counterattack. It fails. And then at the last moment, you actually find a way to defeat the bad guys. What film am I talking about? Well, both of them. This wasn't really original. You took a Japanese concept which was popular, stuck it with the formula for Independence Day, and this was the mess you made. Number eight, looks. So one of the biggest and probably the most worst change they did was the look of Godzilla. I mean, have a look in the berry telly. This is the original Godzilla. Well, this is what Godzilla looked like. Granted, it's not very <laughs> convincing, but it was fine. You were okay with that. So when they made this film, they tried to make a realistic version of Godzilla and you know what? It looked worse. Now, doing some research, I actually saw a copy of Stan Winston's original concept for Godzilla. That was okay, and it sort of merged the line between the two. You could have got away with that one, but the version we got with looked awful. And I think a man in a rubber suit actually looked better than this CGI mess. Number seven, rain. How much rain is in this film? I mean, this film's told over 48 hours and it is non-stop rain. And it's not even light showers. It is heavy, heavy, heavy rain. And what makes it worse, it's not CGI rain like you see on the screen in front of you. And that can go. Thank you. It's real rain. And the thing is, when you're filming rain, especially with the technology back then, to actually catch raindrops on a film, you had to have the raindrops really big so they appeared on camera. Normal rain would never appear on camera like that. So this film probably used more water than they did in Titanic. It doesn't add to the film. In fact, it was more annoying. And I don't think New York has heavy rain for do two days straight, does it? Number six, standing around. This is one thing I found absolutely hilarious about this film. Everyone stands around. There's a big giant monster. I'm gonna stand there and look at it. There's lots of little uh, monsters. I'm gonna stand and look at it. Oh, the big monster's back from the dead. I'm gonna stand and look at it. No, no one would actually stand 
look at it. You would be gone. Sorry, if a, a giant lizard attacked Portsmouth, I love my missus, I love my family, I'd be gone. There's no way in hell I'd be stood there staring and watching. I mean, in this day and age, everyone would be there with their mobile phones taking photos, but still, they'd still be running, wouldn't they? Number five, repeating unfunny joke. There is a joke in this film that is repeated over and over again. It wasn't funny the first time. Why do you think it would be funny the second time, or the third time, or the tenth time? The joke I'm on about is the name. They come along and say, oh, are you Nick Thetopoulos? And he goes, Totopoulos. Okay, we get it. He has a difficult name. But do you have to repeat the joke? Do you have to ram it in, especially when it's not really that funny? Number four, evacuating New York City. According to some studies, it will take approximately 12 hours to evacuate a New York City, with the exception of New York City. Now, the reason being is Manhattan is an island, so there's only limited ways on or off Manhattan Island. To date, there is actually no plans to actually evacuate New York City because they don't think it's really possible to do it quickly. So having this film evacuate New York City and in a such a quick time, I mean, it was done in a couple of hours. No, unrealistic. And you're trying to make a realistic looking film with a giant lizard, never gonna work. But still, get the facts, you're never in a million years going to evacuate the island of Manhattan in New York City. Number three, firefight. This happens quite a few times in the film. Godzilla is stood still. They have Godzilla in their sights. So they fire and miss. How can you miss a stationary target? What makes it worse is Godzilla's actually stood there staring at you, waiting for the bullets, and he doesn't move, and you miss him. How? And that's not the worst bit about these firefights. Eventually, they decide to start shooting missiles. I've said this in previous videos, missiles are extremely fast. There's no way in hell Godzilla would be able to dodge missiles. But what does he do? You fire a missile, from behind him, Might and Might has, he's turned round, he's looked at the missile, then dodged. How slow are those missiles going? It'll be bang, dead. Helicopter chase. Now I must admit, I didn't really enjoy the helicopter chase through New York City. I don't think it's impossible to go at those speeds, but the bit I'm really, out of all of it, really not happy about is after it's turned around and Godzilla's attacked and destroyed two helicopters, he's chasing one of the helicopters. Now, first of all, he managed to run away from that helicopter, so why can he now not catch up to it? But eventually, the helicopter pilot says, phew, I've lost him, and he stays at the same level, and he actually goes over Godzilla and gets eaten. First of all, how come you didn't see Godzilla? You flew over him. He didn't actually come from behind or from the side. He went forward over him. Why didn't you see him? And the best bit is, you're in a helicopter. Why didn't you just go up? Seriously, you stayed at the same level. You stayed below the skyline. That helicopter can go above the skyline. Go straight up. You're safe. But no, you didn't. Number one, sequel. Because this film got panned when it came out, the pre-planned trilogy that they wanted to do was scrapped, sort of. They turned it into an animated TV series, which also wasn't that good. Now, it is a continuation. Now, it had half different cast. Some of the background characters came back and voiced the same characters, but the main cast was very different and the story was also very different from this. The final egg from the end of this film, Nick actually finds that egg, the new baby Godzilla hatches and thinks Nick's his mum and becomes a good guy. Couldn't make this stuff up, could you? Final thoughts. See, one of the reasons why I'm doing this film is my friend John Joe actually thinks this is an amazing film. I don't think we're watching the same thing. Is he on about the 2014 version? Which is a lot better than this version, even though it pulled some nasty tricks in marketing. I'll save those for that video. But this film, 
is a stereotypical action film that didn't really do much. It was literally a creature attack new, attacking New York City. That was it. There was no special powers. There was no creature for Godzilla to fight. It was just, this was more evolution. Granted, evolution that was caused by the French in their nuclear testing. This film, granted, it looks good, except for the CGI. Soundtrack, amazing soundtrack. I mean, you had Deeper Underground by Jamiroquai and Come With Me by Puff Daddy or P Daddy or whatever the hell he's called nowadays. But yet, the film itself is just so boring. Seriously, I was sat there could not get into this film. I remember going to the cinema to see this and I didn't actually enjoy it back then. Why do I torture myself watching films I know I'm not going to like? Just to annoy John Joe, really, isn't it? Anyway, so what am I going to rank it? Hmm, four. That's it, four. There's not really much in terms of story. It just It's a good looking film good soundtrack, okay acting, that's it. There's nothing really much, there's no story, there's no style, there's no substance. This was just an action film against a giant lizard. No, that's all I can say. It's quite disappointed really in this week's film. So, shall we crack on with what we're doing next week? Well, this week I did a Japanese, American Japanese remake. Should we do another one? Yeah. Let's do something that was an animated Japanese film that the Americans redid a few years ago. Come back next Sunday and find out what I'm on about. Take care, bye-bye.